I have wanted to cut down Hobonichi Week's Mega for a while, and that's really all, all I can say as an introduction for this video. And since my Nicker Week has gotten too chunky for me, with all the extra with all the extra layers I added in the back, I figured this is the time to do it. I want to cut this notebook into different sections. Here is going to be the note pages, then all my weeklies for the year, and then as a separate section, the monthlies. To start this, the first step is to look uh, for a division between the signature, which are the chunks of pages that are folded uh, to create the, the notebook as a whole. And something very useful about these Hobonichi weeks is that they have some text in the first page of each signature here. It's, it can be hard to see, but it is there. If you can see, signatures are the folded stacks of pages that create the whole notebook. Here you can see it very clearly, I hope. Um, you can see the little folds between, I call them booklets, because on their own they're kind of like tiny booklets um, but yeah it's where you see that there's a stack of pages begins and the other ends here I'm showing you another notebook I have where it is a lot easier to uh, to see when I'm talking about the two signatures that make this notebook you can see it's like two booklets that together make this little notebook and they're very thick in comparison to the signatures that Hobonichi notebooks have. Okay, going back to my Hobonichi Wix Mega, this is the section I'm going to have for my note pages. I do want to keep the cardboard in the back so I can have something that I can stuck in my um, cover. So I do want to uh, keep it when I cut the spine and the cover of the notebook. I'm using an exacto knife and this is a cutting board, a regular kitchen cutting board actually. And please be careful when you do this at home and also do it slowly so you don't cut into the notebook. There goes the back cover. Now I can start seeing the spine, you can see it there. And luckily this notebook has a very well secured spine. It has kind of like that uh, cheesecloth fabric and lots of uh, glue. So that will make my job a lot easier because I won't have to use extra glue uh, if I do cut between signatures. I am getting rid of any extra, um, you know, piece of the outside cover still attached in here because I kept the cardboard so there was some left over that I didn't really cut away. So I do want to keep have like have it as clean as possible without damaging my notebook. And here it is.
Now this is the part where I start cutting my sections. So like I showed you, this part is going to be my note pages. I won't have to glue the spine because it is very well glued already. Uh, I think it will stand on its own so I won't have to use this glue. Um, you could use it if you want it to be extra secured. Um, I'm, I'm not too concerned <laughs> about that actually. Uh, this is more of an experiment and the way it feels I think it will be okay. Maybe I'll just add some washi tape at the end. For example this one, it didn't have that cheesecloth and glue so I did have to add extra glue because the strings were bare. In here this is super hard and it's like a uh, like an extra I don't know how to call it it's, it's like it's holding everything. This little one when I cut it the strings I could feel them there was no glue no cheesecloth not anything this was a Hobonichi A6 notebook the blank notebooks the ones with the yellow cover. So as you can see, I was able to cut right through it just by respecting where a signature starts. And here it is, a little notebook on its own that, that I can have in my Hobonichi Weeks zipper cover. And the size feels perfect. Now to the next part. My intention is to fit this in the cover of one of the Hobonichi Weeks inserts, so I want to have very thin sections. Um, so I'm going to get rid of the notes sections that I have already used because there's no point in keeping them with the whole notebook. Here I am showing you where the signature starts. It's not where the actual notes section of the book starts. Here you can see if I move the page, it comes with the rest. So I'm turning the page, I'm looking for the print that shows me where to cut. I'm sorry, this is off camera. I, I had to get it closer to me to see. And I think I found it there. Yeah, there is a print that shows me where a new section starts. Oh no, wait here. It's hard to see with the Tomo River paper. And there it is. That's where I need to cut. I will be cutting right through the middle of December, but I am okay with that because usually by December I already have a new planner. So that doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you and you want to have cohesive sections that match the structure of the notebook, that's okay, that can work. You only need to fix it in the spine with some glue um, or washi tape. Here, as you can see, I did cut into the notebook, so I will have to reinforce it with um, washi tape. Now for the last part, I want to separate my monthlies. In here, for example, I won't be able to cut um, at the beginning of a signature because I added a lot of pages that I past pasted on top of the last months so I can't see where a signature ends and a signature ends, uh, begins I'm sorry so I will go right in the middle of December like I mentioned by December I usually have a new planner so I'm okay with that um, yeah that's what I have to do because I can't see the signatures so this part I will have to reinforce also because it won't be able to stand on its own the last page may come off um, but that can be fixed And now, like I mentioned, because I want to fit these in the cover of one of those, I call them Hobonichi Wix inserts, but they, I think they're called like writing pads. They're like little booklets. I want to use one of those covers, so I want to make the, uh, my wigs very thin. And this is what I ended up with. These are all my little sections that now I need to uh, reinforce in the spine and add a cover. Uh, but first, 
to help me with that process I'm going to remove the cardstock that protects the cover because I want to use it. Do you remember I saved the back cover with the notes section as a separate notebook? This I'm going to use to have both front and back for the note pages at least with um, something stronger than regular um, you know pretty paper uh, because that I'm going to be pulling in and out of my Hobonichi zipper cover and it's thicker that's why I wanted to have a thicker um, cover yeah I'm no, sorry I may, I may sound redundant so I hope as you continue watching everything makes more sense and this is the part where I realized that I should have checked if my little sections were going to fit inside the cardstock of the Hobonichi notepad. So I had to improvise with these folders to create the cover of my little booklets. Um, it won't look as cute as I imagined it perhaps, but it will do the job. Uh, it has a fold, it's thicker than the pit the paper I have to decorate them with so I'm measuring uh, to create the cover of my monthlies remember that this section I was not able to cut it at the beginning and or ending of a signature because of that, um, it may be a little flimsy. Um, so I will have to paste it to this cover so it doesn't fall apart or the back page doesn't come off. So there's that. I'm adding a cute color to this. Um, it won't look perfect, but it will do the job. Now I'm deciding on a nice design for the cover. Now that everything is in place, I will leave it under a heavy book um, to dry and so it keeps its shape. With these sections, you know how some or most notebooks have the first page kind of glued to the cover. That's what I'm going to do, like a partial glue so that, so that I am able to use the wicks in here and I don't lose them gluing them to the cover. Through this whole process, for some reason, my measurement of the decorative pair paper was always off. I don't know why, but that's something I had with every single section when I was adding the cover, but anyway, still works. This is where I add the 
cardstock that I uh, I cut from the cover to the note sections that I kept like as a whole notebook. I do have to glue it because it is thicker than the other insert, inserts and the washi tape won't be enough. But once I added the glue and two layers of washi, it does feel um, strong enough. And this is what it looks like, my little booklets with their own label that I can use separately either by themselves in my purse or inside my zipper cover. Here I have my months on their own. It's not super pretty but it does the job and it is light to carry. This last page because I had to glue it to the cover, um, it doesn't look great but again it still does the job. So this is the cover that I'm using, my zipper cover from Sakura Handcraft. I will link her Etsy shop in the description below. And the goal is to have in here my months, um, you know, to write down things that I have to do when I'm out without having a whole planner in here. And also my weeks as the move as the year moves forward. The note section I may use it as a separate notebook or as a bullet journal. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is one of the weeks that I have. This is what it looks like. As you can see, I didn't lose the weeks in the front and the back because I didn't glue the whole thing just partially. And I will keep it here in my um, zipper cover, which is also my everyday carry, my wallet, you know. Now these two sections that I left bare without cover are sections, these are the weeks that I'm about to finish so there's no point in adding a cover. I'm going to archive them in this Hobonichi cover and then at the end of the year throw it away. The same for these, this is the note pages that I already used. so. I didn't really see the point in making a cover for something that I will actually archive right now. Um, so yeah, that's why I only focused on decorating, decorating the things that I was using through the year. And I'm deciding where to keep this one because I do have notes that I do want to reference. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. It, if it makes you uneasy to cut a Hobonichi planner, this could work for any kind of notebook that you want to break into different sections. I'm doing what works for me and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye.